Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I want to talk to you about the internet, what it is, how we connect to it and how it relates to the World Wide Web. Wikipedia defines the internet as the global system of interconnected networks, which is really an uncomfortable sort of mouthful and the sort of thing you expect from Wikipedia. Basically it's a network of networks. Your home network's actually part of this. Yes, you probably have a home network. All those devices you have at home are connected either via a wired or a wireless connection into your home modem and router. You might share files from a laptop to a desktop computer or maybe print from your laptop to a network-based printer. It all happens over your home local network, which is part of the internet. Your network is connected to the wider network of your internet service provider by your home modem or router. The internet service provider is then connected to the wider network through a series of backbones. So what does it look like? Well, in a global sense, it looks like this giant map. It depicts hundreds of thousands of kilometers of submarine or undersea fiber optic cables. These are used to link up many of the major cities across the globe. These then combine with many millions of kilometers of land-based cabling, mostly fiber optic again, that form the basis of the internet. It's simply a huge web of cables connecting the globe. This map shows the major undersea cables connecting Australia to the rest of the world. And there's several of them. The great thing about that is if something does actually happen to one of them, the rest will pick up the rest of the load. In that way, the internet itself is quite resilient. It will keep trying and trying to find the fastest way from point A to point B. So where did it all come from? Well, it started with a bunch of 1960s technologies for sharing time on a mainframe computer. Computers used by US academic and military research organizations. It was developed through the 70s, and then in the 80s, the US government funded the National Science Foundation Network. During the 90s, many commercial networks were added and merged into what we now know as the internet. So is there a difference between the internet and the World Wide Web? or web. Yeah, there is. The web is actually just a collection of linked sites that run using the internet. Lots of other things run on the same cables. All those group video calls that we've been doing while we've been working from home. Netflix and other streaming services. In fact, most of our phone calls these days are actually data connections routed over the internet. Billions of dollars in financial transactions are beamed around the world every minute. When my Dropbox synchronizes a file from my laptop up to the servers at Dropbox, it's all done using the internet. Websites are just a bunch of files that live on dedicated servers called web servers. And when your web browser, like Chrome, connects to that server via the internet, you get back a web page. All of those web servers sit in hundreds and hundreds of dedicated storage facilities called data centers, often huge warehouses with thousands upon thousands of servers banked up in rows and massive connections to the internet backbone. Your individual connection to that network usually happens in one of two different ways. Your home or work network is connected to your internet service provider's network and therefore the internet. Or if you're using a mobile connection, it's connected directly to your telco, which is also your ISP and usually has a major backbone connection as well. Next week, we'll look in some detail at how home and small business networks connect and are connected to the internet. Question of the day. How do you usually connect to the internet? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you thought this video was useful, give me a thumbs up. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix things if they break. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can click the subscribe button down here and then the bell to be reminded of new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.